Well, the weather is causing problems. Just hours before rodeo events kick off, strong winds damaged several tents. A Sky 2 flew over the scene this morning. We got a glimpse of that damage. And now there's a big rush to fix them in time for the start of the cook-off tomorrow. Channel 2's Brandon Walker spoke with rodeo officials. Brandon, the important question here, will this have an impact on the events? Yeah, good morning to you, Jen. And in short form, the answer to that one is no. They're all ready to go, and they'll be sure to work around the problem here. As you can see, crews are working to clean up the mess. You saw those Sky 2 aerials of the tent here, the Rodeo Express, about 700 feet of tent in total. So a lot of space, about 200 feet damaged by all of this. The goal is to get all of this cleared up by the weekend, but if they don't, the show will go on as planned as crews continue to set up for the big rodeo weekend. Hey, I need part of this, sir. With any production, first comes the setup. When you're talking rodeo, that means a lot of work. But in the background of normal prep sites and sounds, came a hoot and a howl that'll make even the burliest cowboys take a seat. Talking about the wind. We had a wind anomaly here last night. Of course, a strong line came through. Holy wind gusts, said rodeo CEO Joel Colley. Last night, whipping winds downright whipped tents over at the rodeo bus stop. Uh, the, the tent was set to manufacture specifications and is rated for 75 miles per hour. So this was a very strong gust that came through. Strong, but not strong enough to stop the show. It will go on as planned. Just a slight hiccup that's being worked out. It will require some overtime probably on the part of our staff. Uh, but the, the plan is for the barbecue to have the Rodeo Express Committee operate in this location as they normally would with the missing section. Uh, so the rodeo will go on as planned, and we're supposed to have beautiful weather. Yeah, so back here live, stay with us here on Channel 2. Justin's going to fill you in on just how beautiful a weekend it's going to be. No pressure, Justin. But again, back here live, crews working to get all of this cleaned up. The hope is to get the supplies in place to replace it by the weekend, but they believe that they'll be able to get the bus stop set up ready to go with or without those tents, and everything will go on as planned. We're live this morning. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.